Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a live pregnancy test. I'm 10 DPO. It's actually the evening, so this is a horrible time to be taking this test. But I'm so nervous and I just want to know, and it's probably going to be negative, and I have to prepare myself for it to be negative. But in the case that it's a positive, oh, that would be so exciting. Yeah, I'm just using my Chupi today. I do have some first response um, that I plan to take later in the week. So again, if I get a negative, it'll just help relieve my anxieties. I just want to know one way or the other. So, I've got my red Solo cup here. I'm staying really classy today. Um, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this test. This makes me so nervous. after three minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer oh my heart is pounding set my timer for three minutes I know I shouldn't be staring at it like a crazy person but infertility will do this to you I know sometimes people say that they've been having symptoms um, after trying for two and a half years. I don't really try to symptom spot anymore just because, you know, there's been so much disappointment and there's been months where I could have sworn that I was pregnant and I wasn't pregnant. Um, so, yeah, I try not to overthink all the small little symptoms, but... Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have taken this test today. I guess we're only a minute in, but... It's definitely not looking hopeful. I would love to know in the comments below how early you guys start testing. Um, I always try. I know I should wait till 14 DPO, but... Or at least 12 DPO, but I just couldn't. Yeah, we have 30 seconds left. I'm definitely not seeing a line, but surprisingly, this is taking some of my anxiety down. So, like I said, I just wanted to see a yes or no, and I like like the concrete answers. And I know I'm not out if this doesn't work because it's so early. Okay, we've hit our three minutes. And it is definitely negative. So I'll show this to you. I don't know if you could see that, but it would focus. Whew. My birthday is actually two days away, and I keep thinking how great would it be to get my first positive pregnancy test um, on my birthday. Maybe I'll try to hold off and test again until then. Yeah, this is all I have for today. Stay tuned. Good morning, guys. So it's a little bit early. Um, it's the next day, so it's Wednesday. I know I should wait, like I said in my previous video, but if you've ever been in this situation, you can't wait. So I'm using um, early morning urine this morning. I'm also going to be using a first response. So oh, I'm a little bit nervous again. I haven't really had any symptoms. So I don't have my hopes really high, but yeah, I'm excited just to take this test and see what it says. So don't mind this. I'm still in the process of getting ready, but I wanted to share this with you. So let's do it. the whole time so I'm gonna put it in a little wrapper and then we will wait. Read this verse real quick because it really spoke to my heart last night and that is let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful and that's Hebrews 10 23 and you know this infertility struggle is so hard to you know gotta hold fast and knowing that God is faithful whatever this test says if it's negative, God is still faithful. He knows the desires of our hearts. And so that helped speak to me last night. Okay. All right, let's 
see what it says. Okay, I don't know if this is going to focus very well. It's pretty dark in here, but it is clearly a negative. I know some people at this point can see some kind of line, but I am not seeing anything at all. So, you guys, this really isn't looking that hopeful. Again, I'm really early, so maybe I should just wait, but first response, I see a lot of these videos where people get results 10, 11 DPO. There's definitely a line there, and this is definitely a negative test. So, again, I don't know when I'll test it, and I'm sure I'll test a few more times, but um, yeah, I really got to hold on to that first, that God is faithful no matter the situation. So, I'll keep y'all updated. Good morning! So it's a new day, it's Friday. I didn't test yesterday because it was my birthday and I really just didn't want to think about it. So today I am 13 DPO. I haven't really had any other symptoms, so again, I don't really have my hopes very high, but I'm using another first response. We'll see how this goes. with the box because I don't want to look at it. Um, I forgot my timer so I'm going to go run and get the timer and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my watch going and I will check in three minutes. Okay, we're right at three minutes. We're going to see what this says. I don't know if you can see this. If not, I'll take a picture of it. But again, we're at 13 DPO. There's not really any lines, so I'm going to guess this past IUI did not work. Um, I probably won't test again unless I'm like a week late for my period, but yeah, these tests are expensive and there's no need to keep wasting them. Like I said, I haven't had any symptoms, so um, I guess we'll just be praying for guidance on next steps on what to do. I think we've decided that we might do three IUIs and if this last one doesn't work, um, we're gonna be looking at other options. This one was hard because I wanted, you know, to find out I was expecting near my birthday. You know, Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up so that makes it a little bit more difficult, but we'll be okay. We're just gonna keep praying about it and, you know, God will bless us with the child if or when it be his timing so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, be sure to subscribe for future videos like this i plan on documenting our whole ttc journey going through infertility and what that looks like so if you are interested in that be sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day bye